Okay. Screw it. Let's go. Uh, I actually tested... Um, I fired this up to make sure... Uh, to try to solve the little stutter issue, but... Because uh, I moved it over to... Um, that's different. Should be okay. Uh, to try to fix that, because apparently uh, moving it over to SSD helps. So it did. Okay, I was like, <laughs> it's taking a while. Um, uh, it didn't help. It still happens, but uh, it ran really smooth, so that's good. Uh, with 1080p and all that stuff happening, so... Alright, so I believe uh, basically all I had to do at this point was... We got our boost ball. Oh, well, there's much else to do. I don't know, I really don't know how I feel about these rails. I feel like they wanted to... Part of me wonders if they're masking loading time. Or something. Uh, and to give you something to do while it's happening. But that happens, and... It's just, and then you gotta start over? It's just stupid. I don't know. Looks kind of funny on the mini-map, though. See your little arrow fly around. Oh my god. Ooh, I hate this. Okay, uh, I... The jury is... has returned, and this sucks. I don't think this will help, but... Nope. There. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I... It's bad. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take it out on that robot. Ship status alert. Unknown entity approaching. Commencing hull lockdown. Oh? What's that about? Also, what's Gore up to, I wonder? I may or may not have, uh, moved a little forward in the, uh, in my tests. I didn't save or anything, but... But hey, now I kind of know where to go, because I was definitely roaming around. Ah, shoot. Hey, Jesse. You made me click on the wrong screen, and now my other monitor turned on, and now I have to open and close my work laptop because of my setup. You didn't make me do that. I did that. Uh. No, I did it again. <laughs> uh... And then my uh, elbow slammed on the work keyboard, thus turning on that monitor again. <laughs> uh. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, just uh, let me know when you are ready and done with work. Or just give me a call on Discord. Turns out I have a very. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Turns out I have a very sensitive setup. There we go. This is what we want. Samus, do a sweet kickflip. Says Mother Brain. Status alert. Hull armor taking damage. Uh oh. Now, for you, I wonder what Gore is up to. And other foreshadowing things, I could say. Our hacky boy. Wait, what am I doing? There we go. It sure looks cool. I guess it's kind of fun to boost a ball in a circle like that. kind of been the Metroid Prime series uh, since one, I feel like. I guess it's kind of fun. That's not fair. I I, I think two is a good game. Uh, I just don't know if it was what I was looking for in a Metroid Prime game. And Who am I talking to? No one. <laughs> I'm talking to uh, the Void, which is streaming alone. <laughs> See, you're used to it, uh, Jesse. You are used to joining me on, uh, uh, you know, group let's plays. You have not seen the art of single commentator let's plays. Not everyone has uh, open schedules or friends. I'm just kidding. I hate, I don't like these sections. No, but yeah, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta commentate. Otherwise, it is a silent playthrough. Also, I'm extremely funny and cool, so I have to comment. I'm just kidding. Swinging's still fun. Oh, there's our buddy. Hmm. He's having a good time. Who am I to stop him? Of throwing the book at her. 
don't you feel the power? Soon everything will be corrupted, including you. <gasps> now fight me. Oh, you know what? Let me make sure my first one will make sure the scanning works, which it does. Uh, shield repels all weapon fire powered by the unit on its back. Also, a cool area of effect attack. He also pooped out some fuel gel, which will hurt. That seems like I have to kind of lead it. Yep, you can't, like, just dodge right out of the way. Something about the music in this game, I don't know. kind of kick my ass. I'm also looking at chat, which I probably shouldn't do. Oh my god, shoot the fucking thing, Samus. He's pretty good at seeking me out. That's fine. You know what? Fuck that. There we go. Let's, uh... No, I don't care about that. There we go. Appears to be connected to Gore's main CPU vulnerability to ground attacks. Oh, good. I'm glad I can uh, provide you and your monotonous work. Oh, I see. You, you with the... Gore, you kind of suck. There we go. I can uh, sufficiently say that I have not got this far in my initial playthrough, so that's good. Whoop, come on. There we go. Uh-oh. Amount of health. Nah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Well, I'm hitting him a little bit, but. How's that? 
Yeah. Oof. Okay. I was thinking about it there. Ends up being better that I didn't uh, trigger. Oops. That's some good damage. There we go. Uh, I have not seen the uh, game, the uh, Game Maker's Toolkit episode on the design of Metroid Prime. It should. Though. That sounds cool. Well, Metro, Metro. Oh my God, Sam is trying to solve the problem just shooting the cloud. Clearly didn't work, but I applaud her effort. Yeah, I should. I should check him out. That sounds cool. There, I beat Gore. Gore's dead. Cool hacker man is unfortunately hacked. Plasma beam. Dope. Uh, I think that is just the... I'm just trying to look at it. I think that's just the... Ice beam? Although it kind of looks like it's like missing the little... Yeah, maybe not. It certainly seems cool, though. Neat. Let's go on our ship, though. Our ship is damaged, therefore we cannot uh, fly away, but uh, we have a new beam, and we learned that the beams just stack in this game, which is different. I think it's, I think they stack. I don't think I can, yep, because that just injects the fuel tank. Anyways, back to it on the robot planet. No, what am I doing? Just talking about... I don't have to switch. By the way, Jesse, how is, um... How are uh, volume levels and all that stuff, if you're listening? Let me know. Whoa! No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh. No, hate these things. At least it shoots as fast as the uh, as the uh, the regular old beam. I think it also does this. Yeah, just melts the robots. It's pretty cool. Feel kind of bad. <laughs> Thank you. 
It is fun, though. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'll take it. That's, um... A good, um... One of the really cool things that they've done... Or the, the, that they consistently do... Uh, in these, uh, Prime games is... Once you get, like, a new item... They don't necessarily give, a, give you, like, immediate use cases for it. Like, this is just stuff that you'd normally do. It's just... You've been fighting these guys and, you know... Charge Beam is easily the best uh, weapon for them. But then uh, you you go uh, you go and you use that the new item that you just got and you get a cool new result. You're like, wow. That's what I'm like at least right now. I'm like, wow. Uh, Alright. Well, I don't This the way I came? I can't do anything there. There we go. Cool. What the hell did that what the hell did that do? Cannon is ready for use. Oh, okay, cool. It doesn't look ready. Ow. I would actually really like if that hurt you. It took like five damage off or something. Oh, I know what we have to do with the plasma beam. Let's go ahead and save, though. I know we just saved, but you never know. We gotta go uh, back to uh, Father Cranial. I think I keep making the cranial joke. I gotta think of other good names for brains. Daddy Dome. No, it was Cerebral, that's what. It, yeah, Mom Cerebral or. Mother Cerebral. There we go. These things. We moat. Time to weld. Now they work. Let's do that like two more times, I think. It's a rule of three. What if I just did whoop? Yep, okay, cool. Ah, this isn't as easy. How fast can I do it? Okay, it does kind of... Okay, I'll be a little precise. Fine. Papa Perineum? <laughs> uh, Senor Cabeza, how about that? Wait, what did I do? Oh, uh, it is now online, as you can see. I probably should look up a, what a perineum is. Maybe while Papa Perineum is talking. Thank you, Samus. We have restored our connection to Skytown's network. 
Now we can execute our plan to destroy the Leviathan. The area between the anus and the scrotum. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> That's not who this is. That's not who this is. <laughs> Oh, you! The generator for this shield is hidden beneath the dense clouds of Elysia, and so is impossible to reach directly. As an alternative to destroying the generator, we have calculated that a Mom Medulla. nuclear explosion would likely destroy the shield itself. This facility possesses the components to create such a device. We would like you to build this device and drop it on the Leviathan shield. Okay. Unfortunately, the components are too large for you to lift unaided. You will need assistance to move and assemble them. There is a Federation landing site far to the east of Skytel. You will be able to find something to help you there. Sound like they had to re-record re that. Line. We will upload the current map data of this area to your suit. This should help you get started. Good luck, Samus. I don't know if that's worth a fanfare. This place isn't too big. Looks like another landing site. And... Power works. Okay, well. Neat. Uh, let's see. Inventory. You should be able to um, disable some stuff if you wanted. You know, like old Metroids. Uh, I am turning away from where I need to go. All right. Cool. It's only been a half hour. Look at all this fucking progress. This is great. Um, I think we're trying to go there. Yeah. Ah, shit, it tricked me. Yeah, I'm just passing through. Just thought I was... Thought I was going the other way. to the poo gas. Okay. Ow. Ship status update. Auto repair functions Great. complete. Ship is ready for use. That is fantastic news. Okay, yep. Just want to go over this way. I hear it. 
That looks like... There it is. So I can just get up... I mean, kind of almost got up there. <laughs> uh, I'll give it one more... Oh my gosh. That looks real close, but... I think there's a, a wall or something in the way. Invisible and or not. This beam sure sounds cool. Always good um, sound effects. Hmm. Anything? Hey, cool. I assume I'm going in a good direction. Hi there. Hi. Love those guys. Ship missiles. Oh, we could go in here. Hmm. Samus, perhaps what you require to access the Federation landing site in the east is not on this planet. Oh. The item you need may reside on a world you have previously visited. Oh yeah? What makes you say that? So you make me walk over here. You gave me the map. Like you knew what I was dealing with over here. Or going to deal with. And you're ah ooh sorry ooh my bad ah, I should have told you about that mm. uh yeah you can't 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 get up there maybe on another planet though I don't know you'll figure it out these bio computers I tell you. Ooh, maybe it's a new planet. Like, hey, here's the map. Uh, there is a thing that is definitely taller than you could jump, so you might want to maybe look around, uh, you know, one of the other planets for, for your thing. That's how that could have been handled. It's like they just got the memo. Oh wait, you're in a Metroid game. Shit. I hate these, I hate these. Hate them! Okay. Let's miss that last one again. Just fun to blow stuff up. I don't even need anything. <laughs> Make me walk all the way over there. Just to... you're the brain of the planet, or the station at least. Did I go the wrong way. I did.
I should have taken that, um, that alert, uh, that my ship was ready. The notification. Whoa! That, uh, yeah, we're, we should probably get out of here. Oh my god. Game's running smooth, though. Happy about that. It's only been 20 gigs right now. That's all. This game uh, kills... Well, not kills my bitrate, but the, the bitrate is gets very high in this game. Lots of colors, lots of moving stuff. As opposed to when I was recording Snatcher, where an hour would be maybe a gig. Uh, hey, is this... Can we... Do we... Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's right. I'm pretty sure, actually, we had, like, a two-hour video that was, like, 900 megabytes. Just because there's a lot of just static images on that game. Oh, it's so good that they melt. Oh, it's so good. Feel powerful. Trying to think, I think there's a place in Alicia that I can uh, melt with some plasma goodness. Here, I would, I would, uh, contend that this should only be... Oh, no! This should only be active. These, the things that, that try to knock you off should only be happening the first time, uh, either you come here or I'll even concede, how about the first time on your save? That seems like a wee thing to do. Like, making me start over isn't fun. I'm losing health already. Just make it lose more health or something. Sorry, that mom brain thing really, really pissed me off. Not really. Ah, I see. No! <laughs> I was trying to, uh... <laughs> just trying to lock onto them. Uh... All right, cool. Now with our friend dead, we can move on. I still think uh, visiting planets and stuff is cool. I think it's a cool idea. Though I would not be against them sticking to one planet in, uh, four. Let's see... Let's just go to the Federation outpost.
Its name is Brio, and it... It's full of shit and sand. I should check the map to see uh, any untouched areas. Okay. Not much here. No. Alright, well, this area does not seem like it has much of anything useful to us. Well, hold on. Hold on, we got some map to uncover still. And we have this. Yeah! I saw that. Oh, hi. Ow. Jesus. Ah, one of our big chuffy friends. Let's see if I even have to use the... Whoa. Well, maybe. Let's gonna see if I even use hyper mode. And definitely. Takes like eight fully charged shots where I... As they protect their homeland, and here I come, just boo boo boo. A, B, C. Victory. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought maybe the fire, the plasma would cause more fire. Not really. Eh, just kind of looking around a little bit. I know that there's that there, but let's see what else we got. What's this? Cold-based weaponry? Hey! I got that. Hmm. Oh, Andrew Yang dropped out? Yeah. I feel like there's like three other people that need to drop out. Not who I want to drop out, but I'm saying who just probably should. We'll chat if you get on. Andrew Yang was one that I'm kind of like, ah, he's got a lot of ideas. Ow. What? Ow. You. He's got thoughts, and they were good thoughts. Where are you at? There you are. Cool. Thanks. All right, what's this? Okay. Overloading the clamp with energy could destroy it. It's not this. It's not that. I don't know that I can do anything with that yet. I feel like there's another beam I need to get. Oh, wait a minute.
Okay. <laughs> okay. Is Samus controlling that, you think? Or is that just, like, they... Programmed in the granite or something? Nope. Alright, I thought maybe I could whip at it. Alright, well, we can continue forward, but there is stuff up there. Might be worth checking out if I can make it. Oh, yeah. Cool, all right. Love holes to crawl into. All right, I don't want to fall up nowhere. Okay, no, that's fine. Oh, I know where I'm at. Uh, shoot. Mm. Oh, it is a missile expansion. I do like those. You know those weird bugs coming? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> this seems like a bad thing. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a platform. I'm jealous, uh... Jesse, I'm I'm jealous of your Indian food. Ow. Um. Yeah, I guess we can just hop down here. Ah. Eat shit. Hey. About to sneeze. Then uh, I guess not. All right, cool. Well, I got it. Yay! Now what? Now we get to head back, I guess. There's no reason for me to go in there. Back in that room? Oh, wah, ha ha ha. That says I dropped a ton of frames. Hmm. Weird. Okay. That was weird. Cool. Why did I do that? Well, I mean, I'm finding a whole bunch of new shit, which is nice. Um... There's this door here, but then there's also the... Sonic Ball track here. Sweet half pipe. I think it'd be really cool for them to implement a trick system. I think that'd be super dope. It looks like it's a... Uh... 
Oh, my upload speed is just dying, huh? Weird. Oh, it's getting recorded anyway, so. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with that. Kind of like half keeping an eye on it. Okay, what is the point of that? Doesn't seem like much of anything, so I'm just gonna head back down here again. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, something is downloading on another computer somewhere or something like that. I don't know why they'd mess up the upload speed though. Weird. Well, I mean, I haven't really found too much of anything besides a new path, which is nice. Okay. Further analysis, the ancient Reptilian ruins on Rio has revealed a unique impact. Oh. Tell me more. Or else what? Okay. Okay. Well, that's cool. I guess. Yeah, and there's definitely... Okay, sure. Cool. That's great to hear. I'm glad the food is there. Go ahead and either eat up or join up. I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, I might need to go check to make sure that something isn't downloading somewhere. Why this uh, network problem is happening. I mean, I'm glad I got that uh, missile expansion. That seems like a extravagant room just for that, but okay. I guess I got some lore, too. Maybe I just need to refresh the stream or something like that. Yeah, you know I'm going to do that. So, uh, one sec. All right. Well. Hmm. Still having trouble. Okay, on there. Okay, now it's showing it's okay. So maybe it just took a sec to get rolling. I straight up, uh, um, reset my router and my modem. So I'm at business on this one. 
Uh, that's where I came from. Okay. Well, we should probably go down. And I don't know if I can go that back that way. Let's head down there and up. Just keep an eye on it, and uh, I guess this is the benefit of uh, not having a ton of uh, viewers. I say to my lonely self, but, you know, it'll uh, still be uh, posted. Not too worried about it. What? Really? Looks like it's studied out. It's weird. My internet's usually uh, pretty good. Who? Ah, you. That's what you get. And I'm like definitely keeping an eye on my <laughs> the, the drop uh, network frames. That was definitely a network issue because uh, my other my Mac and stuff just straight up were not uh, on the internet. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. And this was the way that we went. And we ignore that other door, so. Hold on, big loop. Happened again, so I I have no idea what what it is. So, there's the guy. Hey, what up? It's your guy. Hey, it's the guy. Here he is. Let me just turn off the um, audio from Twitch. <laughs> there we go. Um, the uh, the internet over here still is not great, so I don't know what's going on. Wish I could help. Nah, you got it. Do I? Just do your, just do your thing. It's all gonna be fine. <laughs> all right. How's Metroid Prime been going for you? Good. I, I I like three so far. You've played it before, right? But this is like Whoops. new thoughts. Uh, I have not uh, beaten three or anything like that. Oh. What is happening? That's kind of surprising. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I I played through a good chunk of three, but I just never. Uh, never really... I don't know, I feel like I lost interest somewhat. Is this all that's in here? I guess so. I bet with other visors, I bet there's more shit, yeah. Uh, a giant impact could crumble this debris. Yeah. Oh, hey. Look at that. How's it coming over for you? Is this just an OBS thing, maybe? How's it coming over for me? The, the internet? Yeah, the stream's good. The stream looks okay? 
Yeah, Streamer looks like better than it normally does, honestly. <laughs> like uh, it's looking so crisp. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, it looks like OBS is eh, eh. Nope, there it goes back down. I don't know what's happening there, but huh? I'm at work and I'm on the work VPN, and it's just like fucking golden. Oh, that's so rare for me when the VPN uh, right, is yeah. doing well. Yeah, I wouldn't expect that. So if there's issues, I'll switch off VPN. But no, I mean it, it wouldn't be you. It just it would be my internet here, which it could just be the you right. Know, if there's issues for me, if there's issues for gotcha, me, like okay. if it stops. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it could be. I mean, it could be anything. It could just be Comcast. It could also just be OBS. I don't know. Hey, if I I want to share this on um. Facebook? Is there a link I should use? Just like your Twitch handle? Um, the there's the twitch.tv slash hello kitty joey. That's me and uh, Katie. Cool. I could type it in the uh, Discord if you want. No, I got it. Okay. But no, I'm enjoying uh, Metroid Prime 3. I've, uh, I like it better than 2, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm... I just... I think I already said this. I'm like, I just started 2 again. Mm-hmm. Um, so whenever I'm feeling sick, I'm just like, play some Metroid. And, uh... There, I shared it. Cool. Um... Yeah... Yeah, I remember not liking 2, like, far and away, that being my least favorite one. So, I want to see if that kind of holds up. Um, there are parts about 2 that were really, really annoying. I think 2 has some of the best items, though. Yeah, you, you were saying that. Like, what Like what are you talking about when you say that? It's got the screw attack in it. It's got, um, some of the beams are really cool and the effects of them. Hmm. Um... I kind of forget what the beams were. There's um, one of the... It's like the light beam and the dark beam kind of thing? Like the super missile equivalent for the dark beam is awesome. Because it just makes like a black hole that sucks things in and it's really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Speaking of black holes that suck things in... <laughs> I'm talking about Iowa. <laughs> uh, I was actually more interested in... Uh, yeah, since, since the since Iowa's are I mean not Iowa the um since Iowa's already done right because Bernie won so yeah. um well uh, more or less um like. no he won um <laughs> that's what he's saying uh but uh, wait can I melt that ice hell yeah nice ice um I was more interested have you seen anything on New Hampshire yet is it the only stuff I've seen was that two people dropped out. Two? Yeah, Michael Bennett dropped out. Um, and basically, people were like, oh, he's, he was still in the race. <laughs> Got it. Um, <laughs> so he dropped out, and then Andrew Yang dropped out as well. Okay, well. I mean, he was going to, I feel like. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I wonder what the motivation for that is. Probably saw how he's pulling, like, and then... Was just like right, but what does he have to lose? Money, right? That's so. That's that's the only thing I can think of. That's probably. I mean, yeah. Really like draining that much money? I don't know. I think he um, he got a good couple uh, talking points into the debates and stuff like that that um, were good, and mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those things where like oh. Oh, this is a jump I have to make. Shit. Oh wait, no, I could just do this. Hey, your, yeah. your audio, your audio is kind of your audio. Oh shit. Yeah, your audio is like not that great. It's uh, it's whatever the happening with the internet. <laughs> okay, this, got it. This is hardwired too, so like it's not even. Yeah. Uh, but it's being recorded, so. You sound fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you sound um. Wait, I don't have my microphone right. Yeah, I'm just in a phone. Uh, and that's fine. Sounds like it's a radio show. Cool, that's good. <laughs> that's the that's the look and feel I'm going for. Oh, yeah, I was shit. looking for a. Oh, dang. 
Sucks. Just sucks. I pulled <laughs> back. Person in here. Just, just sucks. <laughs> Don't pull back. Go hard. Um, I was like looking for a place to, to do the recording and I was gonna chill in the back conference room because it's like got couches and it's comfy. But uh, the CEO was in there like calling customers, which is warms my heart <laughs> because we we have like a bunch of work to do to help as many immigrants as we can before like the rules change nice before the rules change in february mm -hmm. sorry on february 24th and so he's like personally calling people to like say like hey you know just want you to know like we, we want you to be as as like um, responsive as possible like we're gonna need if we if we need you to like update upload new documents or change things like just want you to know that like please prioritize that as much as possible because we're trying to get all these like we're trying to get your stuff in by the certain date. So yeah, that's very cool that he's like personally doing those calls. Totally. Yeah. Um. Busy time though. For you, it's pretty busy. Yeah, it's pretty busy. I thought I heard Katie for a second. Uh, Katie is no more. Yeah, Katie's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's been dead for years. <laughs> um, it is busy. It is busy. Like, people are working on weekends. Like, it is a well-managed busy, right? Like, we have, for the people working on weekends, there's, like, people get a an extra stipend, so there's like more money on the table if you if you're able to work weekends. Um, kind of everybody is like aware that it's all hands on deck to focus on this issue, mm -hmm. and it just it makes it feel like it's achievable, and that it's being like well planned and well managed, as opposed to a lot of fires at companies which are like, y'all should have known this is going to be a problem, but right. like it's all just coming down and, and I have to fix it and nobody else is like helping you. Um. Yep, uh, that that sounds very familiar <laughs> uh, to uh, my work because typically a lot of the mm -hmm. folks that are struggling, uh, there's the the answer from the UOs. Well, you get paid overtime, get to it. It's like, okay, cool, thank you, thank you so much. And they're also getting um, food for everybody, right? So like, food is catered, That's cool, lunch, yeah. lunch and dinner is catered. So yeah, you get to enjoy those perks of like. You know, at, at big companies like Google and stuff, they they give you all that shit just by default. Every day, yeah. And it's, it's nice to have a little taste of that. Ooh. Ooh, there's some ice up there. Get that ice. Uh, I need to get up there. Because that's where the... Uh, I believe in you. What do you call it is? I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't uh, tell you. That's where the next item I need is. So I'm gonna see if I can find some like New Hampshire results. Last I saw, it was like 13%, and most of them were going to Bernie. 13% counted. Yeah. Cool. Or not most of them. It was like um, 28 was was Bernie or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw this video, and it, it's on the Sanders subreddit, so it's like I don't know how common this is, but it's it's just so cool. So there's this older lady who's talking about why she voted who she voted for and why she voted. She was like, yeah, I was basically, I'm basically undecided. Like, I like a lot of the candidates and I, I cast my vote, but I, I still could sort of consider myself undecided. And the interviewer was like, oh, that's really interesting. You know, you voted, but still undecided. And he was like, how did you make up your mind? And she was like, well, honestly, you know, I voted for Bernie. And one of the reasons why was because of like how bad the news coverage has been for him. <laughs> like, <laughs> and basically he was like, yeah, I voted I voted for him because of MSNBC, and the MSNBC interviewer was like, "Tell me more." <laughs> and she was like, "She was like, yeah, I just I I don't like how they've been portraying things, like saying he has lost so many voters from 2016 to 2020, when in reality it's like there's like 15 good candidates in the race this year, and there were only two last year. So like saying that he's lost voters is like very in, in disingenuous." And she's like, yeah, so I just, I, I made up my mind and voted for Bernie. <laughs> it's like, that's tight. Yeah, I, I mean, I hope other people are thinking that too. Oh, what are we doing? I 
just hanging out, I guess. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just transitioning. Um, New area discovered. What is that icon? That looked like an iPhone toggle switch. It's like, um... It's like there are achievement like notifications on this. Weird. Because there's achievements and you can unlock stuff. Where the frick are we? Warp Sight Bravo. A strange land, Jesse. Um. Yep. Strange land of Warp Sight Bravo. There's that, uh. Uh, screw attack pad. Right? Uh, yeah, we can't do anything with that yet. Oh, but you're gonna get it soon, because... I think so, yeah. Stuck. That's cool. Uh, yeah, the screw attack was super, super cool in, um... Yeah. In 2, so I'm happy it's back in this. How are the, the motion controls? I remember being pretty fun. You're, are you playing it with, like, the Wiimote kind of thing? Yeah. Um, they're good. Uh, well, they're, they're, they're good until they're silly. <laughs> uh, hmm. Because sometimes they get a little, like, like, okay, yeah, this was an early Wii game, and they really wanted to demonstrate the fact that we can, you know, check this shit out. Yeah, you, know, you can rotate yo, it. Yo, 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 <laughs> check it out. I don't know if you follow, like, um, much, uh, like, analysis of the Democratic primary stuff, but, like, since Iowa, Bernie has gone up to having a 50% chance of winning the nomination, and do you want to know who is in second? Is it Buttigieg? No. Want no. Another guess? Is it Klobuchar? No. No? No. Really? I thought the answer... That was... Hmm? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah, this was a trick question, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you the... the a Bloomberg? Oh, in first place is Sanders. In second place is nobody gets enough delegates. <laughs> so, literally, there's no, there's nobody in second place. Like, second place is nobody wins. So, it's like Sanders, and then the third place is, like, an actual person. Um, so, that yeah. seems not so great. Has, <laughs> well, it's good for Sanders. <laughs> sure, yeah, totally. Um, but I. It is I, more likely that nobody wins than somebody other than Sanders wins. Okay. <laughs> that is, uh. I thought for sure, like, it'd be like. Buttigieg or something like that, just because that's. Because, uh, boy, they really want. Uh, I don't know. Not them, but I, I don't know. I feel like C. Uh. Whoa! He, he's he's the closest to like an establishment type, right? Because like Warren has been tr going for the progressive lane as well, um, and so since Biden fucking tanked it in Iowa, like I think Buttigieg is, is the most like interesting like establishment candidate. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's reasonable to assume that he would be high, but uh, third third place, so. After nobody is Biden, with a one in seven chance of winning, so still pretty good. Next is Warren. Warren has a one in twenty chance of getting the nomination. Where do they expect Warren to win? What do they expect her to win? Where do they expect her to win? Um, I would imagine like Massachusetts, I guess. Places. Well, yeah, I would say like New England. I mean, I expect her to pick up a lot of delegates all across the way. Right, and then take the lead in more I progressive see. areas. Okay, yeah, because um, she's she's getting delegates like all these places. <clears throat> um, and then Buttigieg is tied as well for one in twenty, so he's right below Warren. Good. I expect uh, I expect him to go up. I expect him to go up from this. Yeah, me too. Unfortunately, yeah. But as it stands. He's in a pretty low spot. Because even though he won Iowa, he does really, really poorly with, like, minority and progressive voters. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> like, a lot of what you need to run to get the nomination is, like, support from those groups. So winning in Iowa is everything. Right. The th the, I thought, if anything, the, the fact that Bernie did so well in Iowa and 
basically won it. Um, or or I, you could say won the popular vote in Iowa. Um, yeah. Uh, was saying a lot more than Buttigieg winning Iowa's delegates. Yeah. Um, sure, absolutely. Because cause it's Bernie Sanders, like, in Iowa. <laughs> like, that's not supposed to be a thing. Yeah, it's that... That's not what you would assume his stronghold is. Yeah. Um, and but like he's yeah he's he's doing well. Like he has the most ardent supporters. Oh god. I do know he um he uh did a, or his campaign did a really good job organizing over there and did yeah. the the, like, the satellite caucuses and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. They just have they just have more money than most of the campaigns too. Uh, like right. They've consistently had the highest fundraising, which is pretty like phenomenal. But I, here's the thing, though: I, I do kind of expect that to change. I think, I think like establishment and like high dollar donors have been kind of like splitting the pool, and then now I think with Biden tanking and Buttigieg just emerging as like a viable candidate, I mm -hmm. think he's going to get like a fucking ass oh, yeah. load of cash. Oh yeah, and especially with all that Bloomberg stuff coming out today. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like he's gonna drop out and just put all his money towards somebody. Bloomberg's not Bloomberg's not gonna drop out. Well, not drop no. out, but <laughs> lose he, relevancy. He, he is next. He's next on the list. So after Buttigieg, Bloomberg has a one in forty chance. And he he kind of like Andrew Yang doesn't have anything to lose. Like a lot of the reason why people drop out is because they have to run for some other seat. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Jay Inslee, Washington's governor, like, he was like, well, I'm not going to be president, but I might as well run for governor again. <laughs> but I, I don't know. All, all these I, billionaires don't have to worry about that. So they're just like, I'll just spend my money and try to get my name, like, recognition higher. Like, he came out as, like, a, not came out, but the, it was brought back to light, like, some transphobic comments he was making and, like, uh, the whole, like, the racist tape that came out is just like... Eee. Yeah, but he was never going to get the progressive vote. And I don't think those things are going to come through to people. Like, I think his base is people that see his name in his ads. Right. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. I, I kind of re relearned that, boy, I don't like that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. He's not great. He's not even in my XCOM game. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Missed the chance. Anybody else die besides uh, Beto? We hope not. Um, I I'm a little bit annoyed actually because I they add like um those other classes like the like Reapers and the Skirmishers or whatever and I those were introduced like after I came up with all the characters so they weren't based off of my characters and those ones all died so all the cool storylines were from like <laughs> random ass people that like weren't democratic candidates. oh that sucks yeah it's too bad is that um, a i think um, i feel like uh, i think Bobachar got like captured <laughs> okay um Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm. Oh, cool. I guess we can go to a different. I might have lost Julian Castro as well. When did he? He dropped out um, a while ago, right? Pretty, not pretty recently. I think. Did he? Like, well, I guess it's all relative. I think it's pretty recent, but it Re was like, I don't know, even maybe even a month ago. Recent as Yang, I would say, but. Well, Yang was today. Yep. <laughs> yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, by the way, I hate, I, I hate this what, yeah, uh, up, zip line thing. <laughs> I heard you talking about that, yeah. Stupid. Is it better? Is, is it worse than the um, elevators between places? Yes, because imagine if there was an elevator, but you could risk uh, being sent all the way back to the beginning of the elevator. Oops. <laughs> don't don't suck. Yeah. yeah. I, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> um, 
It'd be one thing if it just like hurt you or something. It doesn't though. It straight up just kills, not kills you, but like uh, it hurts yeah. you and sends you back to the beginning of the of the zip lines. Okay, that's not fun. Yeah. Like I just want to get to the area. I didn't yeah. Want to, like, I'm trying don't have to, to stress about it. Jesus. I'm trying to traverse. That was one of the reasons I actually uh, kind of did not like uh, two as much. Was uh, they really tried to halt your traversal? early, where you can't explore that much without, like, taking a lot of damage and stuff like that. Like, it, it was... It, that wasn't fun to, to manage that. Because hmm. you don't have the suit that you need. Wait, do I need to even do this? Can I just... Uh, no, that's kind of higher up. Oh, wait. Let's shoot ourselves. So the result, New Hampshire results I'm looking at, 59% um, of expected vote reporting, 60%. Okay. Um, Sanders is in the lead at 27%. Buttigieg is right behind with 24%. Oh, wow. Klobuchar oh. actually is behind that with 20%. Yeah. Fucking Amy out of nowhere. What's, what's happening? She, she had a good debate. Oh, you think that's, that's it, huh? Wow. She had a real good debate. Mm-hmm. Warren um, at nine percent, Biden at nine percent. Uh, I'm surprised that Warren is as low as Biden right now. I don't. I something. I feel like sh once the actual voting started, no one really committed to Warren. What do you mean? I feel like um, she had a lot of momentum early on, and then the voting actually like Iowa happened, and then New Hampshire happened, and just no like no one showed up for her. Hmm. Compared to Bernie, like... No wonder, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Like, I have a lot of friends that are Warren supporters, and I I would still, like, list her as my second, especially now that, like, Yang dropped out. Sure, me too. Um, but uh, I kind of get the sense that, like, a lot of the Warren supporters that I know aren't as, like, active. Like, they're... I don't know. I, I guess not to, like, disparage people, but there's a lot of, like, very progressive, very left-leaning people that, like, are just not very active about it. Mm -hmm. And I think you gotta, you gotta be, like, doing stuff in order to make your candidate, like, win. Yeah. Um, I see where you're coming from with that, and I agree. And I, I, yeah, and I think Bernie definitely attracts the activist crowd. He's also got a sassy side that I wish he would show more. He's got some <laughs> snark that I really enjoy when he does it. Yeah. Uh, oh, we can go in Where's here now. the damn bill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, What? so you were going to say some, some stuff about Andrew Yang. I'm very curious. I, I also have some thoughts. Oh, uh, it, he, he really does bring... Um, a lot of good uh, topics to the to the conver like to the conversation and stuff like that. Like he was good with yeah. the whole. Um, oops. Yep. Um, like uh, you know, Donald Trump's not the problem. He's the he's a symptom of the problem, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I agree with that. Yep. And you know, like the universal income is is a good idea. I just feel like it's half baked. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I fully agree. Uh, and I just, yeah, I mean, I thought he was, um, he was another good progressive to have on the, on the stage. Uh, but also, like, his healthcare plan was garbage. I didn't know much about his healthcare plan. Uh, it was straight up just, like, not even Medicare for some. It was probably just, like, I mean, was it just like, well, we're giving people a thousand dollars a month? Kinda, yeah. So they'll be able to pay for it more. Yeah. <laughs> As if insurance companies aren't going to be like, well, we can charge a little yeah, more. Yeah, well, we gotta expect everyone's getting a thousand dollars a month, so. <laughs> Suddenly, everyone's able to afford this shit. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> we can charge more. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things too, because we're here in Seattle, we're like starting another round of like tax Amazon stuff. And 
you know, one of the, like, kind of criticisms that some people will have is that it's like, oh, well, like, aren't, aren't they going to, like, start charging more? <laughs> and it's just like, if they could get away with charging more, they would be doing it. <laughs> yeah. They are charging as much as they possibly can while still getting people to pay for their service. Like, <laughs> do you not understand how capitalism works? <laughs> like, they're they're driving other companies out of business because they're able to charge lower and if they charged more then they would not be driving other companies out of business so they will maintain their low mark their low um cost and they will find some other way to like pay the put the bill <laughs> um yeah totally um like that being said i i i, I liked him as a candidate in there um for the most part yeah, and I think um, I think he, had a, he has a good head on his shoulders. Yeah, yeah. I I I enjoyed him as a candidate. I enjoyed a lot of his ideas, and I enjoyed a lot of the people that were like yeah, shit that were supporting him. Right? Like I have a lot of friends that are like that were sort of Yang Gang um, folks, and like a lot of them were very empathetic very kind people and like i really enjoyed talking to them hearing their perspectives and stuff like that and i do think there's a similar vibe to andrew yang as there was to like bernie in 2016 where it's like this is a candidate that is like bringing some people out of the woodwork that like wouldn't otherwise vote or be excited about voting yeah totally and so i'm hoping that i can talk to some of those like yang fans and be like Hey, I'm sorry, like, it sucks that, like, Andrew Yang dropped out, like, do you know who you're gonna be supporting? Like, I hope I can, can kind of get folks to, to be on the Bernie team. Heavy fire, heavy weapon fire could pop, oh. Oh. Um. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I feel like that's just a natural fit. Um, I would hope so, but it's, it's. We're people, definitely in, in a degree of a bubble, right? People people take politics very personally now, and it's it's sometimes hard to 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 tell them to settle. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. Because uh, I know I know several folks who are just like I'm straight up not voting if Bernie is not the nominee. Um, yeah, and it's like and I know folks that are on on like another on sort of another wavelength too, where they're just like they've had bad experiences. I mean. Uh, I have to take them to their word of this, but, like, they have some bad experiences with, like, Bernie supporters or, like, feeling like Bernie yeah. is not the candidate for them, and that would make them be not excited about voting for him in the primary. I kind of feel like they would vote for him in the general, but I, I don't think, think... you'll have... The way I, the way I always kind of saw it, and you can disagree with me, um, I always mm -hmm. felt like there'd be more boomers coming out to vote for Bernie than there would be millennials coming out to vote for Biden or Buttigieg. Interesting. I mean, I I kind of see that, but I want to know why why you think that way. Uh, because I feel like millennials are less likely to be blue no matter who. Is just really what it comes down to. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. So in the general. Yes. Yes. Saying, that's what I mean anybody who's not exciting to young voters is going to lose a lot of voters. I see what you're saying. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I buy that. Like, I, I talk to people all the time that are just like, you know, I've got my um, I've got my Bernie, like, 2020 shirt now, <laughs> and whenever I wear that, I always people like, hell yeah, like, he's still running, right? Like, I can't wait to vote for him. Like, when he dropped out of the 2016 race, I, like, stopped paying attention. I'm like, yeah, I get it. Uh, yeah, some people are saying also, like, he should have a more progressive, uh, vice president choice than he is. Um, otherwise they're worried he'll get straight up just murked. <laughs> because then they, because if he gets a, um, what do you call it? Oh, um, that's interesting! Because if, uh, if, if they do, like, a, I mean, sucks, a moderate dude, then they think, like, well, then they'll just kill him. <laughs> and get a uh the moderate person as the president um yeah it's weird <laughs> it's weird they, times i mean that's that's such an experience theory, theory but it's like it, it's interesting to yeah think totally. about those like moves and counter moves kind of thing yeah um 
I don't necessarily like I, buy mm -hmm. that 100%, but I'm like, I, I get where you're coming from, and I get why you're worried, because I, I, kn I, I see a lot of the establishment really, really fighting the idea of uh, Bernie as their, as the main dude. Yeah. But, I don't know if they, I think they just, they take their, I think they would, he would win, or if he won, then all they would do is just block every, all of his super progressive things in Congress, and that, then they'll figure out a way to manipulate the system. Yeah. Yeah, it's like when I was working on Supreme Court ship, and I was like, one of the storylines was the idea that, like, the Supreme Court is the only branch of government that you can change parties through assassination. Oh, wow, yeah, every I other, guess so. Yeah, every other branch is like, nope, the person at the top dies, and it's the same party, like, has control of who is next. But the Supreme Court is like, I guess we vote. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Um, I heard them talking a, while, a little while back that they were... Exp talking about expanding the... Are you hurting this guy? Then see. Uh, he's no. getting stunned a little bit. I mean, I could switch over. Good. I can inject... Uh... It doesn't seem like you're hurting him. That hurt. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, I mean, I can inject myself with... You can inject yourself. Alright. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, sir. 64% result. Uh, Sanders still in the lead with 26%. Good. I feel like New Hampshire was kind of always his to win. Hmm. Can I call in my ship? Oh. No. I can't. Biden is just dropped off the fucking radar. Like, I don't know how he's still at one and seven on this. I mean, it, the data doesn't lie, right? Like, things have to change for his numbers to go down, but, like, he's just not picking up delegates and really is not looking, looking pretty. Good? <laughs> yeah, good. No, yeah, er, very early on, I was like, I'm basically going to be fine with anybody who's not Biden. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be excited about a lot of people, but, like, I think Biden would straight up lose to Donald Trump, and I think other candidates will have a chance. I think Buttigieg would lose to Donald Trump. I don't think he would, honestly. You don't think he would lose? I don't, I, I don't think it's a given. I definitely think it's... I, I would not be comfortable, right, in that position, but I, I think it would be either either one goes kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Um, the general sense that I've I've heard around Buttigieg, and gr granted, I a lot of those are Bernie supporters, so who are yeah irate about uh, Iowa. Well, I got to weld. Uh, there we go. Um, boy, they do not like Pete Buttigieg and his whole. I don't know if it was mandating or uh, softly mandating four years of arm and armed service mm. for uh, high schoolers. Like, like not even Republicans are doing need. that. <laughs> That's yeah. I don't know. I haven't heard much about that. Um, um I think. I mean, I I think if we had, if it was Pete versus Trump, I think it would be very similar to 2016, where you have two very unliked candidates. Um, I think Pete is not nearly as unliked as, as Hillary Clinton was. Um, so that's why I think he could eke okay. out the win. But um, I think regardless, you're going to see a lot of people just getting so fucking fed up with the system about like, right. how no matter what, it's like you always end up with just fucking trash candidates. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would be among those. <laughs> Sure. I'd be yeah. I'd be pretty like oh seriously seriously um even yeah, Klobuchar I'd be like okay well I I look forward to a debate with her and Trump because I feel like she uh, yeah. would tear him to shreds uh but that's more of like the 
Like, I, I don't want that to happen. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. If, if I'm seeing any benefit out of her doing it. Um, someone made a joke about how she was like, I don't, um, I don't condone torture unless it's one of my exes, and that's 100% a thing she would, she would probably say at a debate, I don't know. Yeah, no, she's, she's got some jokes, like, she has some pretty good jokes, I like it. Um, yeah, it's all good. The, yeah, so, my, my sort of two cents on Andrew Yang is that, um, I, yeah, I really enjoyed some of the stuff he was talking about, like, I think especially his talk about automation really spoke to me because the dangers of automation is like one of the main reasons why I'm a socialist. Like it's just literally my job as a software engineer is to do away with jobs. Like I write code such that humans don't have to do the things that I write code to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And eventually that means we are just not going to have jobs or we're not going to have the same kinds of jobs anymore. Mm -hmm. And I think Andrew Yang's right to like point out truck drivers as like some of the first casualties of that because you know that is a job that is ripe for automation. Like fucking companies are like salivating over the prospect of having self-driving trucks, and all the profit incentive points towards let's have the trucks be aut autonomous, right? And that's good for so many reasons. It's great for the economy. It's great for like those working conditions suck um it's going to be more fuel efficient more like just cost will go shipping costs will go down yeah but it fucking sucks for the truck drivers who will be laid off and will not have any any options right the jobs created through that automation like the the kind of repair technicians people that are going to need to manage the fleets and like those the truck drivers are not going to be able to Oof. do that job and they're just going to be fucking forgotten about and, like, just left to sit on the wayside of society. Totally. And, yeah, and, like, I'm glad that Andrew Yang brought that issue front and center, and I think UBI is something that could help assuage some of the damage, um, even if I don't think it was, like... Uh, I, I don't think that solution goes kind of far enough, but, like, I'm totally willing to have piecemeal solutions if it makes people's lives better. It's almost like um, we you have to prepare to to handle um almost like a severance package for people affected by that stuff. Um in a way or also, unions, right? Or unions, yeah. Yeah. Cuz like I get when I worked at Apple, I had Apple stock, right? Which means like if Apple continues to do well, I continue to make money even yep. though I don't work for Apple anymore. Right. And like everybody, that should just be a default of working at any job. Like, yeah. If you're part of that company, you get stock. And if the company goes in a direction where your job is automated away, you should be taken care of. Like, you should be happy to have your job taken away because that means you don't need to spend your time at the job anymore, but you still get money from it. Uh, um, uh, I don't know what this is. Which one should I press? <laughs> it's like the... <laughs> Have a conversation versus stay at home. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't press any of them, anyways. Um, yeah, my my job offers stock too, but that was because they went public. Um, yeah, uh, about f five years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, so what is the point of the? Oh wait, I know what the point of that is. Okay, but that's but that's just like the first kind of taste, right? Like that's. Stocks isn't the answer. It's just kind of getting people to understand, like, oh, here's how life could be if we lived in a society that valued workers <laughs> and people. Um, but really, like, unions should be mandatory. Like, every workplace should have a union where the workers get a say in the decisions of the company. Mm -hmm. And, like, the, the free market will still push those workers to like make decisions that are good for the like company because if they don't then the company won't do well and then they will you know flounder but like if everybody's getting a stake in the company then there's more incentive to like work longer hours and contribute more to the company because the more you contribute the more like you get out of it and 
it's not exploitative because you're choosing to do it because you will directly benefit from it. Um. Oh, shit, hold on. I'll go with that one. Sorry. <laughs> um, just a little jokey joke. Um, I think, um, there was a really good, um, there was a really good, uh, uh Twitter post, something like, uh, uh, we are here today to, uh, we are gathered here today to, uh, to, uh, to witness the Holy Union and the w boss you invited to, to your wedding. Whoa, 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 no one said anything about a union. <laughs> and he leaves. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now that you have the ship grapple, you should be able to assemble. Oh, we're building a bomb. We will upload the coordinates to all three bomb components to you now. We passed one. We should go back to it. Um. Yeah, I feel like you have a better, um, either a better grasp or a better sense of what, um, Maybe the broader sense of folks are feeling about this election. I'm. I've definitely been hearing more of the cynical side of it. Mm. So uh, I could be coming off cynical, and dismissive sometimes of certain candidates. Like, like I like Warren. Don't get me wrong. I really like Warren. She's still my second pick. Mm -hmm. But at, at some point, if she's not winning any of these first like couple. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, she's got to be like, all right, no, nah, no. Nah. And either support Bernie yeah. or or get out. No, I'm just kidding. Or, um... Well, I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a degree to which it's like... I mean, this, this, you're right, this is very cynical, right? Because you want to say, if you're on Team Progressive and you're not winning, what you need to do is you need to drop out and you need to support the other Progressive, right? Um... But that's not really how politics works. Like everybody want, everybody's like, oh, I think I have the best case for America or whatever. Like mm -hmm. people do it for selfish reasons, or they do it for reasons where they they literally do think that they have the best case, right? And like Warren and Sanders are very different candidates, and Warren might believe that Sanders does not have a chance of winning the general election. She might be. She might think like, oh, well, he's a good candidate for the Democratic primary, but he's not a good candidate for the general election. Right? Um, so, yeah, I guess... No, I see what you It makes sense to stick it out. <laughs> stick it out as long as you can, but it definitely sucks that it's, like, splitting the progressive ticket. Yeah. Um, I do not... I do think most of Senator... Uh, uh, Senators... I think uh, Warren... Warren's... Um, group will... Uh, would show up for Bernie. I don't know if I could say the same thing about Bernie supporters for Warren. If if either candidate dropped out? Yeah, let's say, like, uh, Warren dropped out, I could see... Um, I could see... her her folks uh, showing up for Bernie. I, I don't know that I, I would say as much about Bernie supporters for her. Bernie supporters are a big group. I think a lot would. If Bernie straight up dropped out, right, a lot of his support would go towards Warren, I think. But I think you'd lose a lot of those candidates that are only being pulled into this election because of the Bernie movement. I think they would drop out. They would just be like, well, Bernie's not in, so I'm not in. Totally. Yeah. Um, but I would expect to see I would expect to see Warren's numbers go up if Sanders dropped out. I guess that's what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I I agree then, with that for sure. Um. My my thing is like, I'm trying to think of how I want to because um Washington votes like we get our ballots in a week, like we start voting soon, um, and then we we have a month to to put all those ballots in, but um. I, yeah, I'm starting to think of, like, how am I going to talk to, like, my Yang supporter friends, my Warren supporter friends, who I think would be natural Sanders allies? Like, how can I get them kind of on board? And for Warren, it's like, hey, 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 Warren supporter friend, like, I 
I think we both are in this for like the progressive fight. Um, I've been interested in both Warren and Sanders, but like looking at the recent numbers, like the recent, um, like Warren just hasn't been doing well in early states. And I think, I think there's a lot to be gained by like coalescing around Sanders. And I'd be happy to talk about that if there's, if, if you have any misgivings about doing that or what make, what makes you think like Warren has a better shot than Sanders, I'd be happy to hear that out. Mm -hmm. But if we continue to split our vote, then we might end up with somebody like Biden or Buttigieg. Well, you and I have a mutual friend, uh, and it's not Katie, um, who is a who is an avid uh, Warren supporter, who has a real bad taste in her mouth uh, because of uh, Bernie supporters. And I think rightfully so. I think some Bernie supporters. Is it is it Julia? <laughs> I wasn't gonna drop names, but yes. Um, okay. Um. I'm just trying to think of mutual friends. That's all good. Hold on, I gotta figure out what's up with this. Unable to be repaired. Fuck. Um. I guess that's where some of my thing is, because I know that she's not alone, and I think a lot of... I think a lot of people, like I said, are v taking this very personally. <laughs> This, uh, yeah, yeah, this election yeah, yeah. cycle. And uh, I kind of get why, but I'm also kind of like... I don't know, man. It's like the f fight for our lives. So I'm going to die real quick. There we go. Into the poo mm. gas. I'm just going to die real quick. Um, yeah, it's, there's, that's definitely a type of voter. Like, 100%. Like, I have a lot of friends who I, I think are just not as excited about senders. And... Um, Sonia was in a, in that similar boat until recently, right? She was she was more excited about Warren and less excited about Sanders, and it's only recently that she's been like, you know, yeah, I don't I don't think Warren is like the right candidate. I think she's kind of put her foot in her mouth too many times, kind of thing. And um, yeah, I, and so now she's like kind of Team Sanders as well. But she she has some misgivings as well, um. and. I think that's I think that's like real, even though I don't know that I I don't know that I agree. I definitely like see it. I see that people are out there with those attitudes. Just looking around here. Um, I think also a thing about Warren. I I feel like she she started like what really solidified Sanders for me was when Warren started to get really wishy washy on the progressive side of it. I feel like she got more and more. Um, she started trying to lean towards the moderate side of, of, of folks. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, okay, mm -mm, sorry. Um, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would, she's like, a, like we've been saying this entire time, she's still my number two pick, but. Yeah. But that was where I was like, yeah. okay, no, no. I'm, you had me uh, earlier before all this. And then once the, once we started to get a little closer to the actual votes, then I was kind of like, ah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not down with that. Yeah, and I. I definitely agree. I think. Um, hmm. You know. I. I think. I think it was a calculated move, honestly. Like. I oh think, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I think Sanders Whoops. supporters, like, if she was, shit, <laughs> if she was going for the progressive crowd, like, she, cause she's she's a progressive, right? And she was going for that crowd, but the Sanders voters, Sanders supporters, are very. Uh, sticky, right? Like they're they're not just here for anybody to hear for Sanders. And I think she kind of realized, like, yeah, I'm not able to convert very many of them. And so I think they tried to go to the right a little bit towards the more like moderate lane to see if they could like get any of them. Mm -hmm. But I think they ended up just alienating some of their like supporters and not really. They haven't gone to the right enough to to take votes away from like anybody else. Uh, kind of put them in a bad situation. Yeah, I'm curious to see um, if it, I mean, I guess that it kind of already happened. How much? Uh, how many of Biden's supporters where they end up going? Whether that's Klobuchar or uh, Buttigieg. Yeah. Um, New Hampshire results. Sixty-nine uh, percent of the vote reporting. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, 
Sanders still in the lead, 26. And numbers really haven't changed much. Okay. But um, Sanders is, like, barely outperforming polls. Buttigieg is outperforming polls pretty pretty well. Klobuchar is, like, massively outperforming her polls. She's doing way better than she was polling it. Yeah. And then both Warren and Biden are are down. They are both underperforming. I think the the field is getting set. Yeah, I'm surprised there's still like so many candidates in. <laughs> like fucking like, Klobuchar is still in here. Like, yeah, it's if she if she takes this thing, that's wow. Good good for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's weird that she is still uh, around because I I always kind of figured her to be like the the fifth place candidate. Yeah. <clears throat> and you know, it could also just be the the it could be a regional thing. I don't know. Um some people were yeah. gonna say the only reason Bernie was winning that was because he was close to uh you know, it was close to uh Vermont. Um but that doesn't really hold I mean, what was that? That's that's a... Oh, I mean, that's, there's there's a reason to think that. But then, you know, didn't really work for Klobuchar in Iowa. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't know how much that affects things. I know, I, th I feel like uh, the Chicago or Illinois vote will probably go mostly uh, Sanders. That's I'm what I... That is what I've gathered. Now, granted, <coughs> I don't Let know. Let me take a look. Polls are looking like. Oh, really? Whoops. Do that a lot. Let's put this back down. I like the um the functionality with the ship in this game. Yeah. What do you do with the ship? What does the ship do? Yeah, can, you can call an airstrikes. You can... I've just added a little, like, uh, towing mechanism. Uh, you can use it as a That's fast right. travel. That's right. I love the towing mechanism. And... Okay. You want some... You want some info on Illinois? Sure. I don't know if this is good info. <laughs> <laughs> um, so first off, Illinois doesn't have enough polling data to like really be that concrete. All right, that tells but me. I currently see, I currently see Biden in the lead. In okay, Illinois. wow. A lot of places were saying Biden. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that changes. You know, so in um, weird. I think I thought there was like a way better. Hang on. I'm going to try to find something else. Oh we used God. to have a different, like, interactive poll, but no, I don't see that. And part of me hasn't really that. been trusting it is, it is. Okay. 538 recently. Yeah, how so? I feel like Nate Silver kind of, I don't know. I think he has an anti-Sanders bias. For I feel, sure. like, I feel but, like he started playing favorites a little bit, and I'm just like, oh, that's weird for what you do. <laughs> Yeah, I value the data. Yeah. And it's very interesting and very telling to see when their spin doesn't match the data. But I think it's very useful to, like, keep on top of the data and just see what the data is saying. Eh. Okay, um, this is better. So, uh, in Illinois... Illinois. Oh. Um, Sanders is forecasted to win. In 80% of simulations, he wins the majority of the vote. So, yeah, Sanders looks solid in Illinois. I wonder if any of those, uh, in any of those simulations, I voted for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny to think about that. <laughs> yeah, same, same in Washington. Sanders has. 36%. Washington, I figured, was a done deal. Like, I feel like... 
don't know. I feel like once you start getting out, I bet you California is mostly Sanders, and I bet you Oregon. But the thing is, yeah, but the thing is, Washington's very white, right? Washington's a very white state, and Sanders' and support is higher among minorities. So, I would not be surprised if Washington was more favorable to, like, Warren or Buttigieg, honestly. <sighs> I feel like all they got to do is start shining that light about how much of a Republican Buttigieg is. <laughs> yeah, they're True. working on it, but like, yeah. Klobuchar is the one that I'm like, so, she could probably grab some of like the Warren supporters and uh, some of the less, uh, the, the folks that don't know about Buttigieg's dark past. <laughs> <laughs> Buttigieg is the dark Samus of the primaries. <laughs> Yeah, I I heard a quote um, about Amy Klobuchar, which was like, um, uh -oh. Amy Klobuchar is just a no-nonsense Democrat, and she considers liberalism to be nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Joe Biden is the berserker lord of... The Democratic primaries. Oh my god. I'm so, so happy that he's not doing Me well. too. Like, he, just, uh, he was just like, I know some people that were like, I'm just, I really like Biden. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? What a, what a fucking Have you ever seen him talk? weirdo. Yeah. Like, I was always, you know, oh. it's very easy to say, like, oh, I've always not liked him. But I distinctly remember when those videos came out of him, like, kind of creeping on. Like senators, excuse me, senators like daughters and stuff, and just being very like creepy and touchy mm -hmm. feely. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, this guy sucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, I really don't like this. Obama and, specifically like, picked him to to kind of even out the scale a bit. To yeah. Get, like the white vote. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just so weird that like he got such a pass for so long because he was like Obama's VP. I was just like, he seems so weird and bad. Wow. And. <clears throat> Circling back quite a bit, actually, you were talking about who Sanders might pick as like a VP. Oh, I pick a more progressive. I, I, I mean, I don't necessarily believe that that's the best course of action. Um, it, I think it'd be cool, but um, I actually have two ideas of what he could pick. But I'm curious to hear hmm. uh, your thoughts first. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have specific picks in mind. I just think of anybody. I think Sanders is, is the type of candidate who is going to make a pick based on like ideological reasons, not yes. vote reasons. Not right? to I don't tip think the scales or something like that, yeah. Yeah. It's more about, like, is this person compelling? Like, I don't care where they're from, <laughs> what they look like, are they a compelling presence? And that's exciting, because then you don't have, like, milk toast people like Joe Biden, who appeals to the Midwest or whatever, winning. You have people, like, legitimately getting excited about a candidate because of, like, who they are. Oh, I should do that, huh? Can I get that now? I left objects with locks engaged. Oh, do I have to do stuff while he's fighting me? No. No, I think I just have to fight him. I thought maybe I had to do stuff with him. Anyways, um, yeah, I think uh, there's two glaring folks who I feel like would, would fit well as a Biden uh, VP, to, uh, not Biden, as a Bernie VP, um, that both fit the votes and uh, ideology. Mm -hmm. Stacey Abrams mm -hmm. and uh, Andrew Gillum. Andrew Gillum, interesting. These are two people that barely lost uh, red states that I feel like uh, would be would be real good. Yeah, it's possible. Oh, hey, we can shoot his gooey center. Shoot that gooey center. Ugh. Um, the Stacey Abrams thing is definitely, like, there's been some kind of drama there and some bad faith action there, so... Oh, really? I would... I think... I, I remember hearing that the Biden campaign said they were interested in having Stacey... Like, said they wanted Stacey Abrams as a VP or something. And then the Stacey Abrams campaign basically said, like, we were not consulted and we don't want this. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to be uh, Biden's VP either. <laughs> oh, for sure. 
But it just, it makes me, like, a little bit wary of just being like, oh, we should, you know, every, Stacey Abrams seems like such a, everyone's kind of, like, grabbing for that name, and... Apparently she, I just want to be like, is that is that what she actually wants? I don't know. I think she's, uh, I, from what I heard, and this is from my dad, uh, she was talking about being um, either going, either doing the vice president thing, depending on who it is, and the, or uh, going for Senate. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Which would be I'm, cool to I'm turn. Sure. I haven't really been following her. It would be cool to turn Georgia purple. Uh, I think... Oh, wait, now I can do this. Um, Klobuchar did bring up um, automatic voter registration, which is good. Uh, which cool. in, which has been a Bernie talking point for a while, and uh, yeah. I think Vermont just got um, a, a house passed, or a bill passed through the house that's on its way to the Senate um, for uh, making voting... Uh, or election day, a uh, holiday, and uh, automatic voter registration too. What up? We need that shit. Yeah. I am going to be working soon on my like relatives and seeing if I can get them to vote for Bernie because I have a lot of conservatives and a lot of like Obama Trump folks in my family. And yeah, that's so weird. That Obama, That's not weird to me at all. Obama Trump folks. It's just what people that voted for Obama and then voted for Trump. Yeah, that, that's weird to me. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, it's not weird to me at all. It's not weird to me at all. Um, I think a lot of people didn't like Hillary, Hillary Clinton, and I think that was to some degree justified. Also, I think people got really worked up over not much. Yeah. Um, oh, the and like. A lot of people vote based on charisma, right? Like, who is like, who would you rather Whoa. have a beer with, kind of thing. And you like, no one could tell me that Donald Trump doesn't have charisma. He's like a narcissistic asshole that only cares about himself, but he's like very charismatic. Um, he's charismatic to the people who are willing to listen to him. Um, yeah, but he plays well on TV. But I think yeah. people. I feel like the normal. I don't. I don't even know what the normal person is, but I feel like, yeah. I guess you're right. Uh, plays well on TV and lots of sound bites and and things like that to the point where people who the people who like him will just are gonna fawn over this guy until he dies. Joe, Joe, Joe. Look, that looks like a little uh, plastic duck, like a rubber duck. Oh my god, it does. Rubber ducky, you know what? You can plasma finish my face. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to them about um, voting for Sanders because, first off, in Washington you can vote in the Democratic primary, and then still vote for the Republican in the general if you want to. Yeah. So, I can oh. spin it to them like. Hmm? I was gonna say, oh, are there states you can't do that? I assume that's how you can do it in most states. I think it's yeah, more to it's to fine. prevent you yeah. from prevent a good amount of people from showing up to a Republican primary to just, like, tank somebody. I thought that was the whole point of that, was that you have to register who you are. Um, I could be well, wrong. Well, yeah, some, some places have closed primaries where you do have to have your party affiliation gotcha. locked okay. in before you vote. But I, I think Washington's an open primary, so, like, honestly, I don't know how they handle that, because then you just have a bunch of Republicans voting in the Democratic primary, and that sucks. Um... But I think most people aren't engaged enough to do that. Uh, um, oh, look at that. This is a neat little... Ooh, maybe not. That's nice. Did I mess I that think, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. That's cool. Little grip thing. Um, yeah, I'm... We don't really talk a lot of politics at my um, family stuff, which is maybe why we get along so well. Yeah, that's um, true. But, um, I think we, as far as I know, I think there's only one of us, one of the family that voted for Trump. Um, uh, and 
um, I don't know that he is motivated to vote this year. <laughs> Got it. Whoa! For the kind of the same reason that you're talking about, which was, you know... Yeah, I don't think Hillary was the most likable Democratic candidate ever. Um, yeah. Uh, and, and certainly she hasn't done much for her image after the fact. But, um... Hey, you know what? I'll wait. Um, I think some of the stuff, and as a Bernie supporter specifically, um, I'm kind of like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Uh, like, just kind of talking trash about Bernie. I'm just like, are you bitter or what? Like, <laughs> um, but I don't know. Ah! That was cool. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of people, and there's a lot of time and airspace being built, devoted to bashing Bernie, for sure, right? Um, and a lot of that, I think, comes down to the fact that, like, Bernie represents change, and the DNC does not want change. No, they don't. I was, yeah, I was talking with a coworker who I, I don't think is as, she's a Bernie supporter, but I don't think she's as, like... Um, uh, she doesn't follow things as closely and I kind of mentioned offhand that like I don't think the DNC cares about beating Trump and she was like oh interesting and I kind of clarified which is like yeah I mean obviously they want, they want to be Trump but like they're okay with another thing. four years if it if it pushes their agenda more yeah well, but they're, they're thinking, like they want to win but they don't want to change in order to win so it's more important for them to not change than it is for them to win. And that's why there's so much bad air about Bernie. Because Bernie is like, we need to change. And so there's a lot of energy around like, no, Bernie's bad because I don't want to change. Um, uh, my dad it was like, they might be, you know, kicking and screaming for Bernie right now. Uh, or uh, about like, Bernie like right now. But once who are they supporting? The no, the DNC. Um, my my dad is uh, is Bernie. My mom is undecided. Okay. Um, we've had conversations about it, and I, I I'm I, at some point I'm just like, yeah, you'll make your own decision, and yeah, you guys raised yeah. me well enough, so I know. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. uh, but um. No, I was talking about the DNC. Uh, I think the while they're kicking and screaming about Bernie right now, uh, if he is the guy who gets the most votes and is the nominee, they'll they'll suck it up and and just get behind him. Yeah, yeah, I think most people are like that. Oh my God, it's a Metro Metroid. That's not what I. I don't care about the containment unit. What is that? Jesse, what is that? What? It's a Metroid. It's a cutie. It's an overlord from StarCraft 2. <laughs> They're not as cute as uh, the ones in uh, 1 and 2. Who are super cuties. Yeah, they are. And then, in, actually, that's... Oh, boy. That is one thing in uh, Metroid Prime 2, is there are mini-troids, and they're fucking adorable. It was Baby Yoda before Baby Yoda. <laughs> Which I'm getting real sick of Baby Yoda. <laughs> getting real sick of all the no, baby I'm shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's pretty... I don't know. It's like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> I get it. It's a marketing thing. Okay. Baby peanuts. Just, just mash it into peanut butter. Um, I'm gonna. I'm about. Uh, whenever I feel like something's gonna happen, and then whenever we're done with that thing happening, uh, I, I will be ready to call it. I think. When what is happening? What? There's a. I feel like something's about to happen. Just. Just a hunch. <laughs> In this area. Yes, uh, mm, I um, wonder. Wait. Did I go backwards? 
think I did. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, we're, I'm feeling confident enough about uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, I am worried. Yeah. Oh wait, no, this is. I'm worried. But I'm also like. Oh, this ain't shit I can do. I can just go out and vote, I guess. <laughs> and donate. Yeah. Which I have. Yeah. Yeah, you're donating. You're having conversations with people. Yeah, do what you can. You're doing good work. I'm trying to... to I'm going to donate right now. Trying Damn. to... Uh, I mean, I get, a, I get a billion emails about chipping in 270... Two two seventy. Mm hmm. Two dollars and seventy cents is what it what it says oh, every wow. time. Um, That's funny. And I'm like, just just here, I'll just do a weekly five dollars. How about that? Oh wait, That's good. there we go. And I'll stop it if I need to. Bernie will understand. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Bernie will understand. All right. Well, I guess I'm going down here. It just spit me back out here. What? Hi. All right. The the gravity, the situation has diminished because now I'm kind of like can't do anything here because I don't have this. I don't have that missile uh, expansion yet. This just dropped me down here. Seemingly leading to nothing. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Alright. Um, I'm probably going to wrap up soon. Just donated to Sanders again. <laughs> Sanders got my money. <laughs> oh, wait. Am I... Okay, I'm at a place. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought this was going to go... This this last part was going to go quicker, but... I got uh, turned around. But I'm... I think I'm making progress now. So, uh, if you want... If you want to head out now, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to wrap up soon anyways. So, if you want to stick cool. around till I'm done, then cool. But if not, I understand. We'll see. I'm just kind of, like, looking at, like, New Hampshire results. There's one, there's one take that I tend to agree with and, and like, is what kind of worries me about Sanders, mm. um, about the Sanders campaign and Sanders' chances, is that um, Warren is, both Warren and Biden are, like, massively, or not massively, but they are both underperforming. Like, their polls showed one thing and their, their support is not quite there. Um, and it's like, well, who is that? support going to and it looks like it's going to Buttigieg and Klobuchar so I kind of don't think I don't think it's a given that Warren supporters are gonna like go and support Sanders after all. I wonder I do if think there's like I do think they're, they're more the Warren supporters that I know I think there's more overlap with like wanting to stick within like the party like play nicely with the party kind of folks mm -hmm. And I think that goes more closely to, like, Buddhist and Klobuchar. Um, again, if, as long as it's the thing with Sanders, like, if he, if he wins, if he gets the votes, uh, I feel like they, they will, they will get behind him, but getting the votes, I guess. In is, the general, yeah. Yeah. But not in the primary, right? That's what I'm talking about. I, I think if, if Sanders wins the general, I think he wins. If, if he wins the primary, I think he wins the general, but... My concern is that I don't know that enough of the... I think the people that aren't supporting him yep. now aren't going to support him ever. Like, he has the most name recognition and the ah. most is known about him and his policies. Oh, now, now shit's happening. I think if, if people aren't supporting him now, they're, they're doing that for some reason. Oops. And 
if they can't support their candidate, they're going to support somebody else, but not him. That's, hmm. that's currently how I how I okay. I could I could that's, see that's that. That's my worry, especially with the all the negative uh, press and stuff. I can be see like, um, well, uh, you know, Rachel Maddow doesn't uh, doesn't like Bernie, so why would I? Hmm. I don't know that she doesn't. I'm just as a example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. I feel like she would. My dad's like, oh, I wouldn't. Don't be surprised. If she starts running or Stephen Colbert. And I was like, No. Oh, I'm like, Oh <laughs> no. Oh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Why do people always like assume those things are gonna happen? <laughs> oh God. Oh God. No. <laughs> uh, I. I feel like Stephen Colbert took a. Uh, and I, I guess this was to be expected. Uh, a couple steps back on the comedy scale. Sure, hundred percent. I mean, it makes you wonder how much of that was just his writers, like writing good jokes. Yeah, for sure. Um, like his the whole original stick was him just making fun of like the O'Reilly factor, right? Like, yep. Oh no, they got little crowns. All right, they're a little cute. Wait, are they eating the... No, they're not. Okay, they're dead. Uh, this... I kind of like the atmosphere here. That's pretty cool. 82% reporting. And? Oh, same. The numbers haven't changed. Okay. 26, 24, 20, 9, 9. For Sanders, Buttigieg, Klobuchar, Warren, Biden. Alright, it sounds like... And... That probably means that Warren and Biden do not get any delegates out of this. Yikes. Yikes. Well, yikes. Yikes for Biden specifically, because of just how much everyone was talking about how he was, like, almost a shoe-in. Oh, he's actually down to 8%. Biden is. Yeah. It was just so fucking bizarre to me that everybody was like, yep, Biden, Biden's gonna win. And that is another reason why you shouldn't always trust the polls. Because it's like, who the fuck is doing these polls and like right yeah it's, I don't know it's, it seems like it's so hard to get like a truly representative sample I haven't been asked for these polls I don't know nobody asking me oh, but like we're donating so they're like you know what we don't need your they're, the people that are actually engaged they don't want to talk yeah. to you because it's like we already know where you are but it's like well you should be talking to people that are engaged because that's like so much that's like so important. Who actually has the most like engaged people? There we go. Um, totally. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm never trusting the poll again after last election. <laughs> um, you can tell me about the odds all you want, but boy, uh, we'll go back mm -hmm. and save if it lets me. There we go. Now they're just phase on Metroids roaming the halls. Phasey Medis, we call them. All right, well. Thanks for coming on and talking politics. Keep me company. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was all good. All right, thanks for doing the stream. Definitely, uh. Um. Definitely more lively than usual, but um, also a little more off-topic, which is fine, uh, yeah. th which is good. Um, it's important stuff, so um, that's going to do it. I'm a, I'm a fade out, and I'm a sign right. off. Fade back into the darkness.